Hello frequent flyers! Welcome to Pilot Talk with Pilot Sim. I know there are a lot of people that are passionate about aviation and want to learn more. So let's start a series with some basic aviation knowledge. Today we'll talk about epaulets. Do you know what epaulets are? The stripes that pilots wear on their shoulders. They look like this. So I should change for the occasion, don't you agree? Wow, that's much better. So you can see them on my shoulders. Do you know how they are called? They are called epaulets or depending on the country, you can call them stripes. So it's finally holiday time. Let's go. We are in the airport. You see crew passing by you and going towards the aircraft. You are boarding the aircraft and you have a cabin crew there asking to see your boarding pass. Maybe he's wearing this. You are confused already. Then you see the flight deck on the left, you look inside. They are very busy preparing the aircraft for the flight. Maybe they are listening uh, to ATC, they are uh, getting their clearance, maybe they are uh, taking the weather or doing some performance calculation. You see on their shoulders, three stripes or four stripes, or maybe even both of them are wearing the four stripes. What is it? This is called epaulette or stripes or in Romanian, epaulets. And all of us are wearing them. Pilots uniforms are professional suit and tie, as you know, and the epaulets reflect the rank and the training of each pilot. So let's talk about airline pilots uniform. They were introduced in the early 1930s by Pan American World Airways. Pan Am, I'm sure that you have seen the series already. They have gorgeous uniforms. At present, airline uniforms are standardized by the industry and widely used by airlines from Europe, Asia, Americas, Australia, worldwide actually, from small regional operators to large international companies. Although most airlines differ in how they describe rank, the general rule is as follows. Remember in the beginning of the video when I told you that you are going uh, inside the aircraft and you find a cabin crew asking for your boarding pass. So one stripe is for cabin crew or for a flight school trainee pilot. Next, we have the two bars, of course. I don't have the one uh, with two bars, two stripes, but it looks like this. So who do you think is wearing this? Second officer. So second officer, which is a airline trainee pilot or flight school trainee pilot, again, depends on the flight school. So finally, we have the three bars. This is mine, as you can see. And it's for first officer. Yes, I am sure you know that one. First officer or senior first officer, depending on the airline. And next, we have the holy grail of aviation who is the big boss in the aircraft. ta -da! We have the four stripes, yes. This is uh, any pilot's dream to wear the four stripes. And this is the captain. The captain of the aircraft will wear the four stripes or the instructor, we don't have five. Maybe we can put another one, but now we have only four. So this is for the captain. So now let me show you how to wear one. You have to unbutton it and it's like this every pilot shirt has this thing and you can order yourself pilot shirts and wear them while you're playing flight simulator so you take the epaulette and you put it inside here and you're done so as you know, the pilot is also wearing a blazer and the stripes are repeated on the cuffs of the jacket. I guess I need the jacket to show you, right? So it looks like this. Now you know all about epaulets. I hope you enjoyed this episode. See you in the next one. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away. To a place where we don't know About to see the world in action